Welcome collectors, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a very special edition model from Diecast Masters. This is item number 63400, the 1 to 50 scale SM LaRusso and Sons Incorporated Western Star 4700 dump truck. So there's a pretty interesting story uh, behind this model, how it came to be, and uh, what's going to happen in the future in terms of Diecast Masters as they get their feet wet with doing custom branding for uh, companies and such. So this was really a monumental model uh, with showing the capabilities that Diecast Masters has uh, and that they can offer to companies, say if there's a uh, asphalt distributor or a heavy haul distributor uh, or even, you know, a company that hauls bulk transport or less than uh, less than load transport. Here's the opportunity of what Diecast Masters can do with a certain number of models ordered, you can have a scale model of your own company truck made. So obviously this is a very, very important model in the history of Diecast Masters and what their corporate marketing strategy is moving forward. So this truck comes in a brown outer shipping box, very similar to what the Cat Core Classics models come in. Let's go ahead and get this thing open so we can take a look at it. Inside you'll also find a catalog which I think is pretty appropriate to include the CAT catalog with this model, considering that it is a dump truck. You're always going to want to have some heavy equipment to go with your dump truck. And here is the model. There's your first look at it. Doesn't that just look awesome? The gray dump box, the white cab, gray around the fenders, the red chassis. I just think the overall SM LaRusso scheme is very appealing and pops and looks good on this truck. As for... Finishing up the packaging details, there's your description of the truck, 1 to 50 scale, your parts number. Up here you have all of your trademark information, not only from Western Star, but also from the SM LaRusso and Sons logo. On the back here, your real truck specifications, which if you're interested, please feel free at this time to pause the video, but we're going to go ahead and move right along. And on this side, once again, a Western Star officially licensed product, the SM LaRusso's logo, and the Diecast Masters logo. Okay, let's unbox this. So, there are a total of 500 of these trucks that were made by Diecast Masters, and some of them went to the SM LaRusso and Sons Company. Some of them will be available in very limited numbers to the collector's market, and the majority of them will be kept in stock and on hand by Diecast Masters, and the reason for that is that they want to keep an adequate supply on hand to use as samples of their custom model capabilities. Again, I touched on that at the very beginning of the video, so that is really why this is such a influential vehicle. Okay. Let's pull apart our little tabs here. You can see, pull our truck out just like that. Really the only assembly that's necessary to do once you get the model out of the package, if you can see back here, yeah, you can see it perfectly well. There's two exhaust stacks that uh, you can fit on the truck on the passenger side or the right hand side. It's not necessary to use both of them. You really only need to use one. All right, so let's take a very quick break. When we come back, I'll have the stack assembled on the truck and we can start the review. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back after this short break. Okay, welcome back, everyone. Just wanted to make sure that we had the truck in frame and all the packaging has been removed. So, again, if you're not familiar, if this just happens to be your first truck model by Diecast Masters, the way that you put the exhaust stack on is very simple. It just sits right in. Now, this kind of exhaust, you probably would want to angle it off to the side, but, of course, you could have it facing towards the dump bed if you want, but that's not particularly realistic. Um... Let's go over the details first, such as the decal application, and then we'll go over the functionality. As you can see here, you have your SM and Sons logo right here on the door. I believe the pronunciation of this Massachusetts-based company, the city is Warpool, Walpool. I could be completely wrong. I've never been there myself. Uh, so those Northeasterners will, I'm sure, definitely correct me. The truck also has a fleet number of 35 right here underneath the Western Star air inlet there on the side of the engine cover. On the front, Western Star badge above the grill. And again, the 35 for the fleet number is also on the nice chrome bumper. You have lights up on top, chrome mirrors with turn signal indicators on them. 
your spill guard up on top of the dump box also has lights on it. And of course you have your running lights on top of the cab with the air horns. The lenses look very good and the grill is etched through as you would expect on the 47, uh, 4700 series dump truck. Coming over to the left hand side, the doors don't open on the truck, but if you get nice and close, and I know it's a little bit hard to see on camera, but it is a very detailed interior of the truck. And not only there's some detail on the steering column, but also on the dash and even where the, uh, the driver would sit. Uh, here you have your tanks with a highlighted blue cap. Uh, running lights here. Chrome on the tires, which look great. And you have your DOT striping running alongside the dump box. Up here you have your... Uh, wood deck extensions, which are painted to match the dump box in that gray finish. The tarp on here is not entirely made to be functional. Again, it is just aesthetic looks, however, with some very, very quick modification. And if you wish to do this to your own model, of course, I'm not one to ever push things or be abrupt with my models. You can be made. You can make this be functional with modifying the rubber piece of the tarp and maybe moving the pins around. But again it's very ill-advised to mess around with that too much. Moving towards the back of the truck, you can see SM LaRusso's once again on the rubber mud flaps, which look great. Standard equipment on this truck is a trailer hitch, which if you have one of the tag trailers from another manufacturer, it will fit on here just fine. You have a non-functional chute at the back for asphalt with a warning label, and once again, your fleet number of 35 in the top left-hand corner. If we look into the dump box, you can see what that looks like. And finally, if we turn the truck over, there's a good look at the chassis of the truck, which includes different size tires for the different axles and also the fact that the axle at the front, the steering axle, does steer. You can lower or raise this axle, the drop axle as I like to call it. If you want to, you can raise it or lower it whichever you prefer. Moving on to the other functionality associated with this truck, the hood does open and you can get a good look at the detailed motor inside. There are some individually painted components with different colors, which again, look very good. I already mentioned that there's working steering. I already mentioned that the drop axle works. The other crucial feature of any dump truck is just how well it dumps and the angle of dump height. This is more than adequate. That is your extent of your dump height, which again, as I've said already before, that's more than enough and looks very, very good. So the last thing we'll do before we wrap up this video is let's pose this next to a 1 to 50 scale cat wheel loader. Now, SM LaRusso and Sons, as I've said before, they are a sand and gravel supplier. So let's bring in a wheel loader that would be used to handle some sand and gravel. If you're not familiar with the SM LaRusso and Sons Corporation, they employ over 80 individuals, and as of 2020, they generated more than $32 million in sales. There are five companies in the SM LaRusso and Sons Incorporated family, and that information, of course, is from the DNB Business Directory. All right. We have the loader out of the box now. Let's bring him up. So we're going to have him go into a makeshift pile of gravel that clearly isn't there. Back him up. Put him up next to the truck and as you can see dumps right over the side without any problem so there you go collectors that will conclude this review of a very special edition model by diecast masters as i said there will be a very limited run of these made available to the collector market and i have to say i would encourage you to pick one up very, very, very important model in the history of Diecast Masters and where they want to go in the future with their custom branding opportunities that they offer to different companies. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next review.